Please be seated. And now the president of Rio Salado College, Dr. Linda Thor. Honored guests, faculty, staff, family and friends, and in particular, members of the class of 2008. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 30th annual commencement ceremony for Rio Salado College. Throughout this academic year, almost 4,000 students have completed a program of study through Rio Salado. They reside not only in Arizona, but across the United States and around the world. Tonight, we recognize more than 100 of you who are present to receive either associate degrees, certificates of completion, or recognition of academic achievement. Graduates, you are a diverse and very accomplished group with a bright future. Some of you will become dental hygienists, you were out there. <laughs> Nurses, <laughs> teachers, <laughs> all right, I'll speed it up now. Chemical dependency case managers, <laughs> clinical dental assistants, computer technologists. Other graduates are receiving diplomas that will enhance their current careers as human services assistance workers, airline operations experts, customer service representatives, public service administrators, corrections, and law enforcement officers. Yeah. And there are many more job fields rep uh, represented here that I know I haven't mentioned. Those of you who are receiving certificates of completion should know that Rio Salado is proud to be counted among the largest providers of occupational certificates in the entire nation, according to the United States Department of Education. This year, we also educated 220 students who have earned the recognition of academic achievement for completing our online post-baccalaureate teacher education program. We know these future teachers are in demand and will have a positive impact on generations to come. So congratulations to you all. And earlier today, Rio Salado College conducted a pinning ceremony for nine students who have completed the Associate in Applied Science degree and will soon enter the job market as registered nurses. And congratulations to this student cohort. The class of 2008 really prides itself on scholarship. Here are a few statistics. Approximately 159 of our degree earners this year are graduating with distinction, high distinction, or highest distinction. That means that more than one-third of the class of 2008 have GPAs of 3.5 or better. Of that group, there are 21 students graduating with highest distinction, which means they earned grade point averages of 3.9 or higher on a 4.0 scale. And 29 graduates belong to the honors program, while 44 graduates are members of Alpha Theta Omicron, our chapter of Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society. The stories surrounding our graduates are inspiring, oftentimes courageous, and reflect dedication and hard work. So let's meet a few members of the class of 2008. First, I will share the story of Jason Smith, a Phoenix police officer who is receiving the associate degree in applied science in law enforcement technology. Jason dropped out after his first year of college to join the military. Nine years later, he was ready to resume his studies. However, by then he was working third shift as a police officer while raising three children with his wife, Mary. 
For Jason, the answer was Rio Salado's online classes that allowed him to log on at 3 a.m. Jason, please stand so we can acknowledge your per persistence in achieving your degree. Tonight, we have 22 students who are earning Associate in Applied Science degrees after completing the 15-month Accelerated Dental Hygiene Program. Admission for this program is highly competitive. One of these graduates, April Gould, spent three years on the wait list after finishing her prerequisites. Once she was admitted, her husband quit a job that required travel so that he could work from home and watch their two daughters while April completed her degree. April, we commend you and your family for the sacrifices you made to pursue your education. Please stand and be recognized. Like a lot of our students, Stacia Winkus is a single mom with a full-time job. She has snatched steady time between laundry, her son's naps, and late night hours as she pursued the Associate in Arts degree. Her goal is to become a nurse. Stacia is slightly hearing impaired and found Rio Salado's online format the perfect solution for her needs. Stacia, please stand so we can congratulate you on balancing family, job, and college studies. Rio Salado realizes that everyone here has an equally impressive story, and all of us share your sense of accomplishment and pride. We applaud the persistence it took to reach your goal of a college education, and we know that you did not accomplish this alone. So let's take a moment to recognize the many people who have helped you make this dream a reality. They include Rio's dedicated faculty and staff who walked beside you on your educational journey. In addition, we want to acknowledge the friends who accepted, often with great patience, that you didn't have as much free time as you once did. And finally, we pay tribute to your family members, your parents, husbands, wives, and children who stood beside you. We know that they encouraged you with love and understanding. Together, all these people provided you with a strong network of support. They were there for you. Graduates, join me now in thanking them. Tonight, we celebrate your achievements through the theme, Sustain Your Momentum. The word, the word sustain means to keep going. And the word momentum refers to energy. So with this theme, we are telling you to keep the energy going. We chose this theme for a double purpose. First, we live in a time when people have become more concerned about sustaining our environment. That is, keeping it going for future generations. During the past year, Rio Salado College has become very committed to doing our part to keep the environment and our college sustainable. So it occurred to us that we are sending you forth not only as graduates, but also as good stewards of our planet. Therefore, our Rio Salado commemorative gift to each of our graduates tonight is this attractive tote bag that reads, Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. This bag is made from recycled materials and can be used as a substitute for plastic shopping bags. If you were to use this bag four times a week instead of plastic bags at the end of two years, each of you would have eliminated the need for 416 plastic bags. When you multiply that by just 100 students, you can see the impact of joining together to sustain our environment. And inside the tote, hmm, we have placed your souvenir commencement program, and you'll also find a pin that says reduce, reuse, recycle. And believe it or not, this handy clip is also made from recycled materials. So we hope that you will put these gifts to good use. 
We hope you will join us in sustaining the planet, and at the same time, we encourage you to sustain your momentum as you proceed to put your certificates, recognitions, and degrees to good use in your careers and in life. After all, a milestone like graduation is never really an end, but rather a beginning of the next stage of life. A new world of opportunity awaits you on the job and through community service. We truly believe that Rio Salado College credentials, the ones we will bestow on you tonight, will energize your lives by opening many doors that would otherwise have remained closed to you. Some of you will find that your existing employers will look at you with new respect. Others just became a step closer to that dream job you've been thinking about. Your parents, friends, spouses, even your children may see you in a different light. You have earned their admiration. Oprah Winfrey once said, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. Your passion may lead you to explore new career opportunities, or you might focus your momentum on volunteerism. You can seek out opportunities to serve right in your own neighborhoods, where there are ample needs in libraries, shelters, community centers, professional associations, and political organizations. Our schools are full of young people who need someone to mentor them, just as, as you have been mentored and encouraged. And of course, we would be delighted if you decided to sustain your momentum by remembering the importance of lifelong learning. Stretch your mind, continue your studies, and establish more goals that lead to bachelor's or even master's degrees. Rio Salado College is proud to send you forth on this journey. You are well equipped to be an inspiration for your employers, your family, and your friends. We congratulate you and we wish you the best for your continued success. Before we move on with the program, I have an announcement to make regarding photography. It's your night, so family and friends, please feel free to take all of the pictures you want. We also have a representative of freeze frame photography who will take every graduate's photo as diplomas are awarded. And freeze frame will also be available after the ceremony in the main lobby near the box office. In addition, you may purchase a DVD of this ceremony, and you can reserve your copy at the special table in the lobby after the event. Rio Salado is the largest of the 10 Maricopa Community Colleges, which are governed by the Maricopa County Community College District Governing Board. Tonight, we are fortunate to have with us two of the five publicly elected board members. Each of these officials is elected to a six-year term. First, we have the senior member of our board. Mrs. Linda B. Rosenthal will be retiring at the end of this year after completing nearly 30 years of public service to the Maricopa Community Colleges. During her tenure, she has served six terms as governing board president and been elected to five separate terms as a governing board member. Mrs. Rosenthal, please stand and be acknowledged for your three decades of dedicated service. And we are privileged to have with us the current governing board president, Dr. Donald Campbell, who also has an impressive record of service. This is his fifth term as board president and his sixth term as a board member. He's a longtime educator, community leader, and volunteer. And because he is a strong supporter of students, I have asked him to say a few words. Dr. Campbell, I present to you the Rio Salado class of 2008. Thank you very much, Dr. Thor. To the students who are completing their program tonight, it's an honor to be here as a member of the Community Colleges Governing Board. In case you're not aware, we have five board members, of which you have uh, been introduced to tonight, 
All are elected and serve as volunteers on the, for the purpose of helping with the education programs in Maricopa County. The board members are responsible for the welfare of all 10 colleges, for electing the chancellor of the district, and for also taking to the voters of Maricopa County requests for tax increases, for bonds, and of course the 204 bond which we just passed a couple of years ago and went to the voters and got over 70 percent of the people supporting that. These are the things that help to pay for the educational system that we have in the Maricopa Community College District, in addition to the funds that you as students have to pay. And we recognize that you, as many of you, are working, paying your own way. Many of your parents are helping to support you, your brothers and sisters, your aunts and uncles, but all of this is a part of the necessity for the American Community College system. And it is also a part of the elementary schools, the high schools, as well as the four years. There are no countries on this planet that have the quality of education that we have here in Maricopa, in the state of Arizona, in this particular country. And you are evidence of the fact that we are trying to achieving the quality that is needed to maintain this particular system, this particular country, which has been going on for so, so long. Many of you will go on to four-year schools. Many of you will go on to graduate schools after that. And many of you will probably be working now and still going to school. But we encourage you to stick with the system because you hear these little kids who are making a little bit of noise now. They're just bright voices, but they are the students of the future. And they will be sitting where you are, and hopefully many of you will be sitting where I am, where Mrs. Rosenthal is, trying to improve, to maintain the quality of education for the people in this community. And that goes on throughout the entire country. But again, I congratulate you for the tremendous work that you have done in achieving your education, the tremendous work that you have done to help maintain the high quality systems that we have in the United States. Again, congratulate you. Keep in mind that this is the beginning and keep on moving forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Campbell. We certainly value your many contributions to the Maricopa District, and we look forward to your continued support. There is one more special guest that I would like to introduce. Seated on our stage is the Maricopa Community College District's Vice Chancellor of Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Maria Harper Marinick, who will be joining us in congratulating the graduates when we award their diplomas. Dr. Harper Marinick. Each year, our student speakers are selected on the basis of academic excellence and their ability to serve as role models. This year, we have selected two speakers from an outstanding group of candidates. Each one is an academic scholar and an impressive role model for our graduates. First, we have Dawn Beck. After a 14-year gap in her education, she gathered her courage and became a reentry student. Then she made up for lost time by accelerating the coursework that would lead to her Associate in Arts degree. You could say she understands firsthand the importance of sustaining her momentum. Please welcome Don Beck. Dr. Thor, board members, faculty, family, friends, and graduates. I am truly honored to be standing before you today at this year's commencement. I, <laughs> I never thought that I would be speaking to you from here. This is a dream come true. 
Reaching my goal of graduation has been very long and with many ups and downs. In high school, I became careless and uninterested in academics and pretty rebellious. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I dropped out after my junior year in order to work full time to support myself. In 1996, I received my GED through Rio Salado. But this was my first encounter with Rio, but I really wasn't ready to be serious about school. I continued to work while half heartedly taking a few classes at Scottsdale Community College. In the next six years, I was busy. I took a few classes, married my high school sweetheart, and had two amazing children. After a series of fun jobs with no future and experiencing some personal challenges, I realized that I needed to be able to take care of myself, to be proud of myself. It was time to get going. So 13 years after I left high school, in the spring of 2007, I registered for online classes at Rio Salado. Somehow, after being an unmotivated high school student and an uninspired student elsewhere, I got serious and I even surprised myself. From spring to fall of last year, I completed 53 credit hours. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. As a result, I was able to obtain my Associate in Arts degree from Rio Salado in December of last year. I was also inducted into the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and was on the Dean's Honor Roll. Of course, I had a lot of help along the way. My friends and family always believed in me and were so supportive. My wonderful mom was consistently positive and unfailingly encouraging. Above all, Brian, my amazing husband of 10 years, is the main reason I am here tonight. When I would struggle in my studies, he would remind me that I can do it. When I would get a good grade, he was the first one to give me a high five and tell me how proud he is of me. Brian has been my cheerleader and my best friend. Brian, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Truthfully, you are standing right here beside me. I have attended two other community colleges in the Valley and, well, let's say there's a reason I got my degree from Rio Salado. Rio's flexible schedules and start dates, its caring and involved instructors, and support staff all work together to help me achieve my goals. I was able to start each class when it was convenient for me, and with the support of my instructors, I was able to go at my own accelerated pace. Dr. Thor, board members, Thank you for making it possible for people like me, people who otherwise wouldn't be able to go to college, to graduate as so many have done tonight. I am now attending Grand Canyon University online. And of course, I'm taking a full load again. And I plan to graduate at the end of this year with my Bachelor's of Science in Psychology. I plan to start working on my master's degree in January and go on to be a marriage and family therapist. My ultimate goal is to obtain my PhD and have a counseling practice. I want to be able to help people going through hard times because I know a little bit about that. I am living proof that hard work and determination will make you succeed. Who would have thought that this high school dropout would be standing here before you tonight? I would like to close with a winner's blueprint for achievement, Believe, by William Arthur Ward. It describes the last few years of my life. Plan while others are playing. Study while others are sleeping. Decide while others are delaying. Prepare while others are daydreaming. Begin while others are procrastinating. And persist while others are quitting. It has been an honor to speak to you tonight. Congratulations, graduates. We did it. Thank you, Don. We know that this is a very special night for you and for your family. Next, we have a musical interlude featuring Jody Light, who has been the voice of Rio Salado's radio commercials for the last five years. Jody has been performing all of her life. At the age of eight, she starred in her own local TV show, 
Jody's World, which won several Emmys and enjoyed a successful eight-year run. These days, Jody is the vocal talent for News Channel 3. That's her you hear singing, and I won't sing, <laughs> 3 TV, the place with more stuff. Tonight, she will sing A Moment Like This, a song first made popular on American Idol. Let's welcome Jody Light. Thank you, Jody. That was absolutely beautiful. 
Our second student speaker tonight is Michael Cardenas, an administrative assistant at the State Bar of Arizona. Michael plans to keep his momentum going by completing his bachelor's degree at Northern Arizona University and continuing on to law school. Tonight, Michael will receive the Associate in Applied Science degree in Public Administration. Join me in welcoming Michael Cardenas. Thank you, Dr. Thor. Good evening, everyone. When I was selected to be a speaker here today, I was not only surprised but also honored. They told me that I should tell my story because people like to hear that. What they didn't take into account is that I met seven other amazing people like me who had to make sacrifices to reach their goal. I met a mother, a wife, who would never have succeeded if her husband had not put his own career on hold to become a full-time, stay-at-home parent just to help his wife realize her dream. One of the other candidates was a veteran and is now a Phoenix police officer, a hero. He spoke of his mother, wife, and children who supported him throughout his education. He is here tonight. Thank you. Thank all of you. My own personal story is similar to theirs. Growing up in a close family of my mother, two brothers and a sister, living in a small neighborhood in Tulare, California, there were not too many opportunities for any of us. Sure, we had dreams, but our reality was at best working in a factory or in agriculture. Now, to be honest, school came easy for me, but not too surprisingly, I could not resist peer pressure, and soon, I had left my education and wandered into a life of pain and self-destruction. I can't recount all the friends I lost to gun violence and the numerous friends who are incarcerated, some never to be free again. I eventually would fall victim to this violence, but through the grace of God, I'm here today to tell my story. At 19, I became a father and decided that I needed a job more than I needed an education. So here I was, uneducated and looking for work, and work I did. I worked as a janitor, a cook, a maintenance person, warehouse employee, and a cashier, just to name a few jobs. Though I had given up on my education, I never let go of a dream to one day graduate. I just never realized it would be from college. I remember the day that I decided to take that first step towards my education. I was scrubbing the floors of the kitchen I worked in and decided that it was more than overdue time to make a change. So I was going to move to Arizona to start my new life. I had a date set, and for the first time, I felt that I was making a move in the right direction. But then tragedy struck. My grandfather, who I always wanted to emulate, passed away. Though I was deeply saddened by his passing, I never let go of my dream. Soon thinking of him all the time, I moved to Arizona and was working as a janitor. I had taken that first step, then it was time for school. I started by taking my GED test. I passed it. Soon after, I would be enrolled in Mesa Community College, but I was very unprepared. I struggled through my first year and eventually got through it. I was even able to study in Mexico. For the first time in my life, I felt that I was moving in the right direction, but that would be short-lived because the pressure of working full-time and being a single parent would lead me to drop out of school again. After two years off, I refocused on my dream and decided to attend Rio Salado. As you know, my first attempt at Mesa Community College was not successful. But thanks to the distance learning program at Rio Salado and the wonderful teachers, my advisor Jason, and the staff, I was able to accomplish this long-time dream of mine. With a lot of hard work and many sleepless nights, in a time span of four years, I was able to finish my degree with honors, and I stand here today a graduate of Rio Salado College. Words cannot express, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Words cannot express how I feel. When I was being interviewed by the committee who chose graduation speakers, I was asked how graduating from Rio Salado would make me feel. I told them that in order to get a truthful answer to that question, they would have to ask my mother, my family, and my friends. Look in my mother's eyes, see the joy in my family. Only then would you know how I feel. That said, I want to thank those who helped me get to where I am today. My mother, Candelaria Cordova, who bestowed a work ethic in us that was second to none. Thank you, Mom. To my brother, Andy, for setting the example that it is never too late to go back to school. To my little sister, Brenda, and my little brother, Chito, thank you for your unconditional love. To my fiance, Nancy, you never doubted me, even when I, when I did. And to my daughter, Crystal, thank you for being the best co-pilot. Thank you all. In closing, I would like to encourage anyone here today who might be discouraged and has been holding off on something that they have wanted to accomplish to go ahead and start on that road to the unknown. If I could find my way here, there is hope for you. Most important, sustain your momentum. Thank you and good luck. Thank you, Michael, for sharing that wonderful story. And Don, if you would rejoin me. To thank both of you for your wonderful presentations tonight, we are pleased to present each of you with a plaque that says, Rio Salado College congratulates Don Beck and Michael Cardenas, student speaker, commencement May 7th, 2008. Congratulations. <laughs> wonderful job. And now, the moment you've been waiting for has finally arrived. Here to recommend the conferring of degrees and certificates is Dr. Patricia Case, Rio Salado College's faculty president. Thank you. The associate degree is conferred by community colleges upon the com successful completion of 60 or more credit hours in college work. Certificates of completion and recognitions of academic achievement are granted to students who satisfactorily complete specialized and spe excuse me, spe specified and organized program of study. Dr. Thor, it is my honor to confirm that the candidates before you have completed all requirements and to recommend that they be granted associate degree, certificates of completion, or recognition of academic achievement for post-baccalaureate ed teacher education. Thank you, Dr. Case. We appreciate the dedication of all of our faculty members and their most important role in preparing our graduates for tonight. We will now award the diplomas to the graduates of the class of 2008. Two members of our Rio Salado College radio family will announce the graduates. Blaze Lantana, who is music coordinator for radio station KJZZ-FM, will join Bill Shedd, operations director for radio stations KJZZ and KBAQ-FM. Joining me in congratulating our graduates will be Governing Board President Dr. Don Campbell, the Maricopa District's Vice Chancellor of Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Maria Harper Marinick, Vice President of Community Development and Student Services, Dr. Chris Bustamante, Faculty President, Dr. Patricia Case, and Rio's Vice President of Teaching and Learning, Dr. Karen Mills, whose daughter, Tiffany Goss is graduating tonight, a very special evening for her. The candidates will now rise one row at a time and come forward, and we will begin with our student speakers.
Don L. Beck, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Michael Cardenas, Certificate of Completion, Public Administration, Associate in Applied Science, Public Administration, Phi Theta Kappa. Linda Lee Camp, Recognition of Academic Achievement, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate Programs. Deanne Ruth Zimmerman, Recognition of Academic Achievement, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate Programs. Jeffrey Patrick Byrne, Certificate of Completion, Advanced Corrections, Associate in Applied Science Corrections with High Distinction. Mark C. Smith, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology. Robert S. Kolker, Certificate of Completion Chemical Dependency Level 1, Certificate of Completion Chemical Dependency Level 2, Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency. Jonathan McKinley Walker, Associate in Arts. Eleanor Romo Diaz, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Lavette Denise Donaldson, Certificate of Completion, Human Services Assistant, Customer Service. Crystal D. Slaughter, Certificate of Completion, Human Services Assistance, Customer Service. Chandra Hobbigan, Certificate of Completion, Human Services Assistant, Customer Service. Aaron Joshua Mattingly, Certificate of Completion, Computer Usage and Applications, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology. Louise R. Carter, Certificate of Completion, Pharmacy Benefits Management, Customer Service. David R. Witterell. Associate in Applied Science, Public Administration with Distinction. Theodore C. Bowen, Certificate of Completion, Detention Services. Eric Nathan Brandner, Certificate of Completion, Public Administration, Associate in Applied Science, Public Administration, with distinction. Nicholas Patrick Kleppinger, Certificate of Completion, Computer Usage and Applications, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology. Rafael Mary Hink, Certificate of Completion, Basic Clinical Dental Assisting. Yvonne Cruz, Associate in Business, General Requirements with Distinction. Associate in General Studies with High Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa Honors Program. Teresa Devon Raymer, Associate in General Studies with High Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Tiffany Louise Goss, Certificate of Completion, Basic Clinical Dental Assisting. <laughs> Lolita Grace Fredericks, Certificate of Completion, Human Services Assistance, Customer Service. Tracy Lynn Wolf, Certificate of Completion, Computer Usage and Applications, 
Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology with High Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa. Jason Thomas Smith, Associate in Applied Science, Law Enforcement Technology, Phi Theta Kappa. Christopher John McGovern, Associate in Arts with High Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors Program. Crystal Dawn Danford, Associate in General Studies, Honors Program. Marian Bartlett, Recognition of Academic Achievement, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate Programs. Brenda Lee Langston, Certificate of Completion, Public Administration, Associate in Applied Science, Public Administration with Distinction. Kimberly Ann Campbell, Certificate of Completion, Chemical Dependency Level 2. Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency with Distinction. Barbara Diane Woods, Associate in General Studies. Wendy J. Beaver, Associate in General Studies with High Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa. Daniel L. Razor, Certificate of Completion, Automobile Insurance, Customer Service. Gina Marie Nevitt, Certificate of Completion, Public Administration. Stacia Lynn Wenkus, Associate in Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Trinity Ann Branch, Certificate of Completion, Practical Nursing, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. Shannon Eileen Panton, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. Heather Diane Dowden, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. Susan Marie Snyder, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Amy Davis, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Susan Mary Garcia, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing with Distinction. <laughs> Lois Leanne Shrum, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Don Michelle Potts. Certificate of Completion, Organizational Leadership, Associate in Applied Science, Organizational Management with Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa. Tammy Marie DeWitt, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors Program. Tiana Ellsworth, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene with High Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa Honors Program. Susan H. Gardner, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene with High Distinction, Honors Program. Stephanie Dela Cruz Watson. 
Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. April Kayanne Gould, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, Phi Theta Kappa Honors Program. Tamala Fern Blosser, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, Honors Program. Darcy Ann Leinbach, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene with High Distinction. Jennifer Lee Jones, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Audra Joanna Heron, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Kelly Dawn Owen Houston, Certificate of Completion Chemical Dependency Level 1, Certificate of Completion Chemical Dependency Level 2, Associate in Applied Science Chemical Dependency with High Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa Honors Program. Linda S. Guzman, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology with High Distinction. Kasha Tavoris Alexander, Certificate of Completion, Chemical Dependency, Level 2, Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency. Balkis Alicia Garnett, Certificate of Completion, Chemical Dependency, Level 2. Desiree Sky Mills, Certificate of Completion, Public Administration, Associate in Applied Science, Public Administration. Rita Webster, Certificate of Completion, Airline Operations, Reservations. Lisa M. Kaiser, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology. Abraham John, Certificate of Completion, Detention Services. Shannon Deschelle Anderson, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology. Veronica B. Adams, Certificate of Completion, Human Services Assistance, Customer Service. Linda Jo Boyd, Certificate of Completion, Computer Usage and Applications, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology with Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa. Shauna Ray Shuff Waldrop, Associate in General Studies. Joanna Travers Schertz. Associate in General Studies with Highest Distinction. <laughs> Jennifer Lynn Davis, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Jamie Beth Parker, Recognition of Academic Achievement Post-Baccalaureate Certificate Programs. Cindy Fife, Certificate of Completion, Computer Usage and Applications, Certificate of Completion, Technology Help Desk Support, Associate in General Studies, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology, Phi Theta Kappa. 
Peggy N. Spoonamore, Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency with Distinction. Michael Ann Dillon, Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency. Candace S. Parent, Certificate of Completion, Chemical Dependency Level 1, Certificate of Completion, Chemical Dependency Level 2, Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency with Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa Honors Program. Natalie Sorensen Tiffany, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene with Distinction, Honors Program. Jennifer Cherie Maddox, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene, Honors Program. Sherry Lynn Tomlinson, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Christina Elizabeth Catalan Nodi. Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene with Distinction Honors Program. Jennifer R. Jones, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene Honors Program. Michelle Lynn Groom, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Gloria J. Dorsey, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Deanna Marie Watershevsky, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Jenny Irene Lother, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Betsy Renee Shelton, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Constance Kathleen Quist, Certificate of Completion, Chemical Dependency Level 1, Certificate of Completion, Chemical Dependency Level 2, Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency with Highest Distinction, Honors Program. Christine Robin Yee, Recognition of Academic Achievement post baccalaureate Certificate Program. John D.U. Gock, Certificate of Completion, Public Administration, Associate in Applied Science, Public Administration. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ricky R. Johnson, Associate in General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Vicki Lynn Simmons, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology with Distinction. <laughs> Zaconia Shane Misho, Certificate of Completion, Human Services Assistance, Customer Service. Elizabeth Harris, Certificate of Completion, Airline Operations, Reservations, and Ticketing Services, Honor Roll. Donna T. Ariano, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene with Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa Honors Program.
Jennifer Ortiz, Associate in Applied Science, Dental Hygiene with Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa Honors Program. Tiffany Marie Sobsack, Recognition of Academic Achievement Post-Baccalaureate Certificate Programs. Tanay Paragu, Recognition of Academic Achievement Post-Baccalaureate Certificate Programs. Gladys Leon, Certificate of Completion, Airline Operations, Reservations, and Ticketing Services. Christine Guerra, a Certificate of Completion, Airline Operations, Reservations, and Ticketing Services. Dina Ramel Stiles, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology. Carrie Lee Hollenbeck, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Amelia May Campbell, Associate in Applied Science, Nursing with Distinction. Yvonne Michelle Johnson, Certificate of Completion, Computer Usage and Applications, Associate in Applied Science, Computer Technology with High Distinction, Phi Theta Kappa. Monique Viascusa, Certificate of Completion, Human Services. On recommendation of the faculty, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the governing board of the Maricopa County Community College District, I confirm the associate degrees, the certificates of completion, and the recognition of academic achievement which have been conferred upon you. As a symbol of your accomplishment, I now authorize you to wear the tassel of your cap on the left side. Congratulations. I would like to thank the Rio Salado College Commencement Committee and all of the college volunteers for their excellent work, especially Dean Sylvia Hantla, our commission, uh, commencement chair. And now to the Rio Salado College class of 2008, my warmest best wishes to each and every one of you. Within a short time tonight, you have gone from being students to graduates to alumni, and as alumni, please continue to consider yourself part of the Rio family and stay in touch. And now will everyone please stand for the recessional, and we ask the audience members to remain standing until all of the graduates have filed past. Thank you for joining us, and once again, congratulations to the graduates and their families. Good night.